I've had several requests lately to do a video demo of our traffic sign inventory system. Basically what we do is we use ArcMap to edit and maintain traffic sign data that we have collected in the field. All the data is collected using handheld GPS units as well as using vehicle mounted GPS units for navigation during the project. What we do is we collect all traffic signs on this type of project. So we don't just collect regulatory and warning signs, we actually collect every single sign on the roads that are maintained by the client that we're working for. As we are collecting this data with handheld GPS units, we also collect about 20 attributes that are associated with the sign and support structure. This allows you to have not only an inventory of the traffic signs, but of the posts as well. Digital photos can also be collected as well as part of this project. Basically a digital photo would be linked to each point so that when you pull up the attribute information for that sign you would see a hyperlink to the digital photo. If you click on that hyperlink the digital photo would open up and you can view the front of the sign. The MUTC decode actually gives you the symbology in this type of a map. As I zoom in on this project you will see the individual codes give the attribute for each symbology. So you will see when you put in the R1-1 MUTCD code into the attribute table it gives a stop sign, a stop sign symbol. This allows you to look at a layout of roads visually and see how the signs are laid out. So if you had for instance multiple traffic accidents at one location you could see if there was a stop sign, a stop ahead sign, if there was a yield sign, look at the speed limit signs without actually looking at every individual sign or visiting that location. I will open up the attribute table on this and you can actually see the multiple attributes that are collected during the collection phase of this project. This is an access database and you'll see along the top these are the different field names. Going down through the bottom those are each individual signs. I'll go through the field name so you know exactly what is collected in this type of project. Sign type, that would give you the type of sign, so if it's a stop or a yield or a speed limit sign, that is actually typed into that field. Sign category, so you have regulatory, warning, recreational, as well as other sign types. The sign color, we assign a color to a sign because if you have a different color background, it could mean a different MUTCD code even though the sign reads the same. Sign condition will give you the condition of the sheeting material and the sign. So if it's a poor rating like this one would be, you would know it, it would need to be changed out. The orientation, if the sign is not orientated to the road correctly, we document that so that can be corrected. Post type, now you're getting into the inventory of the support structures as well. So you see wood, square steel posts. Um, there's multiple types of, of post types in here that can be selected. Post condition, again, you get the condition of the post, so if you had a poor condition post, you would need to replace that. Leaning is an attribute if the sign and the support structure are leaning to one side or another, that is documented, so that can be corrected as well. The number of posts, so if you have one sign that has two or three po posts that support it, it is documented in the attribute table. And then the opposite is documented as well if you have multiple signs on one post. So you can see some that share a post and some that do not. Visibility will document if there is shrubbery or some other thing obstructing the view of the sign, so that can be corrected as well. Reflectivity is the type of sheeting material, so you see some engineering grade and high intensity retroreflective in this project. The sign direction is the direction the sign is facing. The street side, so you know which side of the street it is on. We've got the sign size, so you actually have a physical measurement in inches of what sign that, what size that sign is. The street name, which is associated with the street that it is on. Then we've got some information that is collected internally for our quality control, but it can also be used in a maintenance mode. So this was date collected, so this is the physical date that we actually collected that sign in the field. City and township we use if we're collecting multiple entities at a time, but those fields are removed at delivery. Sign code is the MUTCD code. The employee, the last employee that was visiting that sign. And then you've got a couple of notes fields for documenting notes. So you can see there's a lot of attributes that are collected for each individual sign. That attribute table is extremely flexible. 
Field names can be renamed, reordered, added, deleted. Um, we also have field names for if we do digital photo creation, so we'll collect the photos and add a field for them as well. ArcView also allows for quick queries if you're wanting to query the database. This will allow you to pull more information out of the database. So you could pull a query out to ask what signs are stop signs that have engineering grade sheeting material. And that would allow you to pull out any stop signs in your inventory that still have engineering grade sheeting material so you could get a count on them and you would know that those would need to be removed in the near future. ArcMap also allows you the ability to edit and maintain this data very easily. You can add new signs. All the field names are there. All you would have to do is populate it and place the point. You could place a point using a GPS point and just import that into the existing data. Or you can edit existing data by selecting a sign, going into editing mode, and only updating the attributes that needed to be upgraded. So if you changed out a sign, you would select that sign in the, G in the GIS system and then you would edit the existing attribute. So you're only editing a short amount of data here. It's very quick and easy to maintain. For more information on this type of data collection service, you could visit our website at www.mid-westgis.com or you can call our corporate headquarters in Quincy, Illinois at 217-222-7793. Thank you.